Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at the Creality K1 3D printer. Now the K1 is known for its speed and even for myself who is pretty new to 3D printing, this one was very easy to use even as a beginner and the quality is top notch. I only have one other 3D printer before this that I can compare it to and I am super happy with all of the results of every single thing printed and the entire experience. Now I do have to state that this Creality K1 3D printer was sent to me for my review even though it is not a paid review i'm not getting paid for this video any of the links that take you to the creality website i'm not getting paid for either so this is straight up just my talking points my experience with the k1 now for this first video of the creality k1 i'm going to keep it high level i will have future videos coming up going a little bit more in depth and showing the full entire process of how you can use this printer but i want to keep it high level just so you can get the nitty-gritty of the price the specs and how good these prints actually come out as so we'll cover a Black Friday deal that is currently happening that's almost complete. We'll take a look at all of the prints so you can take a look at the quality. We'll also take a look at the specs, also the setup along with their application, and then also my thoughts on this printer itself. So first off, let's take a look at the Black Friday deal. So here is the Creality website. So this is just creality.com. And when you take a look at it, you can see on the very top, if you go to Black Friday deals, you can see what is happening right now. It is almost complete. So once this one goes live, there will be a full day where you can take a look at it and you can see if this is something that interests you. So basically, when you scroll down, if we were to move on over and you want to see where that Creality K1 3D printer is, which is the one I'm showing in this video, original price is $600 and you're able to save $200 with this Black Friday deal, bringing it down to $400. Now, the other things you might want to take a look at is some of the filament. So you can even see this one sitting right here. It's 42% off. Now, this is the Hyper Series PLA. And you can take a look at this one and then you can choose whatever colors you're looking for. So you can go through either the 3D printers, take a look at their sales. You can also take a look at even the accessories or materials. So if you take a look at the materials, this is really one of the screens you want to take a look at if there's more filament you would like to go with. So you can take a look at some PLA 3D printing, some of them 36% off, 42% off. This is one that I do highly recommend, the Hyper Series. And you can also take a look at even some of the other ones that is also fun to play with, which is Silk PLA. The Silk is super shiny and very, very smooth. And I do have one of my prints printed with this. And so I'll show you what that looks like as well. Now taking a look at the print. So this way you can get a close look at the quality. So this one was the very first print that was ever printed from this printer. And you can always tell how well the printer is if you can read the letters and numbers on the bottom. Simply, you can read and see every single thing clear as day. The quality of this one, especially for the first print coming out for the day, was just fantastic. I printed this one with my other printer and it didn't come out, you know, did not come out as clear as this one. And this one just has every single small little baby detail in there. So they did a really good job when it comes down to this Benchy. And this Benchy printing took about 16 minutes. Now with original everyday normal 3D printers, this one will probably take right around 35, 40 minutes to print, but this one was able to be done in 16 minutes. Now taking a look at the next print, we did this skeleton hand. Now when it comes down to the skeleton hand, I did take it down in the size or the scale. So instead of printing it at 100%, I printed it at 80%, so it's slightly smaller. I did throw on a little bit of a base, which is what this little piece is right here. And all you have to do is basically just peel it off or cut it off and it's gonna come right off. Then everything else is gonna look just like these little segments right here as well. Now this one only took 44 minutes to print and would have taken much longer, right around two, two and a half hours if it was on another printer. And this one was also printed with the Creality PLA. So this was the Hyper Series 3D printer filament. So the Hyper PLA white. And you'll also get one of these inside the box of the printer itself. So this is the one that came inside of the printer. This one is going to be that Hyper PLA white. It's just a slightly smaller little roll that you're able to use. But this one you can actually get off of the Creality store itself. And this one right here is the one that we used for this little skeleton hand. So you can just see the quality up close. They did a really good job. Everything is smooth. There is actually a little bit of cleaning that I can do with this, just a small little tears of those little pieces of hairs. But other than that, 
really, really good quality. Now the next print that I did was Loki. So with this one, it came in two pieces. I printed it at the exact same time. So they were just separated on basically the hot plate. So I had the base and then also the upper body right here. This one took two hours and 20 minutes total. And this one, I used a PLA plus filament and this one actually glows. So if I was to turn off this light, you can actually see what it looks like when it is to glow. You can also see I use the same thing for the octopus over here. So yeah, the glowing filament is always fun to play with. I have my computer screen on, so that's what's giving it a little bit of light, but this thing glows in the dark like crazy. So I'm gonna turn this light right back on. So this one took again, two hours, 20 minutes, really good quality when it comes down to the print and it slipped in super easy into the slot it was supposed to. And then right there, you can also see the letters for Loki. Now the filament I used for that one is this brand right here. This is the PLA Plus Glow. And I will also place these links below the video inside the description. It's gonna be these filaments from the Amazon links. This is where I will actually earn a slight small commission if you were to purchase any of these, but that just goes right back into the channel of Jimmy as promo to help with everything else. Now the next print that I did is this little Christmas tree here. Now this Christmas tree or this little Christmas tree ornament, this one took one hour to print. Now all of these, I just went at just the normal pacing. I didn't go for quality. I kind of went for that speed. So this one's at 300 millimeters per second for the printing speed. Now this filament right here that I used is from another brand and this one is the 3D printer filament, PLA A grade. Again, if you're interested, I'll place this link below the video inside the description as well. I'll just title it as pretty much the tree filament. And this is the quality of what it came out as. I mean, everything is super smooth when it comes to this one. You know, there is no issues. And I think that this Christmas tree came out really well. Now, next up, I printed this cute little octopus, these little segments in here. Every single thing moves, all of them bends. This one did also, again, a really good job on the print. This one was the exact same filament as Loki. So this is that glow in the dark filament. So this is just one of those that you can print in a couple different styles. You can have it to where the legs are kind of curved. You can have it to where they always try to stay straight. Um, but yeah, this one's actually really fun to play with, especially when you just see how movable every single thing is. So here is all of the different ligaments inside of there. Again, I also put a base on this one as well too, just to make sure that everything came out great. And then all I have to do is actually just kind of peel these off. And once you peel those off, then everything's gonna look all smooth and hunky-dory. Uh, this one, I didn't have to do that base. But again, I wanted to, I'm still new, I'm testing everything. And this actually might be one of the next prints I do without the base on it, just to see the outcome again. But again, I love the, the detail, I love the movability, all of the links, everything came off the way it's supposed to, again, on this K1. And then next up, this is the one that actually took the longest. This one is a little desk organizer for a bunch of things. So you can actually place your phone in the back. These are slots for USBs. This is for micro SDs. These are for larger SDs. You know, you could put scissors, pens, whatever you want to in this. But this one I used a silk. PLA and silk is supposed to be very shiny and super smooth. There is really no ridges when it comes to this thing. It is super, super smooth. And as you can tell, it is very shiny. It did a really good job. It came in two parts, the top as well as the base itself. Now this one took five hours total. I printed the base first and then I went for the top and that is what took the whole time. So basically the base was 40 minutes. This one up here was basically four hours and 20, but a total of five hours for this organizer and everything is super nice when it comes down to the details. And again, this one is the silk PLA. Silk is really gonna give you that shine and it's gonna be very, very silky smooth. And then I did another one. I don't really know exactly what this thing is for. I think it's more for like just a test, just to kind of show how durable sometimes, you know, PLA or the, the filaments can be. This one is also that silk filament. This one's that one that's super shiny, uh, also very, very super smooth. This is just showing how thin it can make things, I guess. I don't really know what it is. All I know is that this is one of those test little uh, files that is on the Creality K1 itself. So you can print this one. This one took seven minutes to print. Maybe it's to show the speed. So it's going in all these different areas to show the speed of the bed. In literally seven minutes, this thing is done. It was the file that was right next to Benchy. 
Now taking a look at the Creality website to look at a little bit more details of the K1. So you can actually go at the max speed of 600 millimeters per second. Now everything I printed was 300 millimeters per second. You can go through the software and actually make it faster, but I kept at 300 millimeters. That was quick enough for me. It's very quick versus all the other 3D printers out there. I could even change it to a little bit better quality prints and it'll go slightly slower but still the way that everything came off was just fantastic. There's a self test that you can do. It's only one tap on that little uh, 3D printer display screen. You tap the self test. It'll go through every single thing, the, the nozzle, the, the fans, it'll go through the hotbed, all the temperatures. It'll test every single thing to make sure everything is up to par. They also have hands-free auto leveling. So this is fantastic. So you don't have to level it manually or through the software itself. It'll do it automatically even before every single print. And there are several fans inside the 3D printer itself with one being in the chamber. So it's a way that's able to cool once it's being laid down. So you're not gonna have any issues with any of the prints. It's very, very nimble. This is also showing how fast it is versus a normal everyday 3D printer. This is actually printing that thing that I mentioned. I didn't know what it was for. Maybe then just a test to show the speed um, or the quality of the filament. But it, that was the one that took seven minutes to print. Over here, it would take much longer. You can just see how much quicker the K1 is. So I'm gonna scroll down this website here. I wanna show you a few of the specifications. Now, when it comes down to the build volume, so pretty much whatever you're printing, could be 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter. I believe the K1 Max is 300, 300, 300 millimeter. So if you need a slightly larger print, you could take a look at the Max. But I believe with the 220, 220, 250 millimeter, the K1 is perfect for really anything that you're going to be printing. The net weight of the printer itself is 12.5 kilograms. The printing speed is up to 600 millimeters per second. Again, everything I did was at 300 millimeters per second. The extruder is a dual gear direct drive extruder. The filament diameter is 1.75 millimeter. That nozzle temperature can go all the way up to 300 degrees Celsius with the hotbed temperature going all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius. And you do have a flexible build plate. So that little magnetic plate on the bottom, it is flexible. So you bend it and then your prints basically just pop right off. Now there is also, uh, let's see, different ways that you can print. So you can either use a USB drive, you can use Wi-Fi. The display screen on the printer itself is 4.3 inches and it is a color touch screen. There is also an AI camera, which is optional. You have AI LiDAR, which is optional. There's power loss recovery. So if the power goes out as you're printing, the recovery is there. You also have a uh, filament runout sensor. So there's all these sensors to know when the filament is in or when the filament is out. There's input shaping. You also have a lighting kit that's inside of there. There is a sleep mode. And the biggest thing right here is gonna be dealing with the power and the voltage. When you first get the printer, especially if you live in the United States, there is a switch on the side, which took me a while to actually find and notice, but you have to flip that switch on the inside in there. You wanna switch it over from the 230 volt to 115. If you don't switch it to the 115 and, and you live in the United States, it's gonna power off immediately and you won't get the thing to even turn on or go through the test. And then mostly when it comes down over into the supported filaments, as well as the print files or the, the slicing software and the file formats, uh, you'll be able to use the support, supported filaments of ABS, PLA, PETC, uh, PET, TPU, you have PA, ABS, ASA, PC, PLACF, PACF, and PETCF. The printable file format is G codes. Uh, you also have a slicing format. You can use Creality Print, compatible with Cura, Simplify 3D, and Prusr Slicer. And then the file formats for slicing is STL, OBJ, or AMF. If you have any of these file formats, you can print anything that is in this format. Now, when it comes down to printing and taking a look at everything, you can use the Creality Cloud application. This is where you can pretty much take a look at every single thing. You can take a look at your workbench. You can take a look at your account. You can take a look at a bunch of different prints that you're able to print you know, from your phone over into the 3D printer itself. Or what you can do is that you'd be able to head over into your computer and you get everything done that way, which is actually how I got everything done myself. So this right here is gonna be the Creality Cloud on the website. So if you go onto your laptop, you can go to the Creality website. Here's all the different prints that you can go with. 
select any of them, take a look at them, download their files, and then you can get them printed. The, the website that I used to print all of mine was printables.com. And I went through here. This was one that was suggested from my buddy. And there's a lot of stuff that you can go through. Everything helps out. Everything is fun. Or, uh, you know, you can use it to utilize different things around your house. Um, but this is actually the website that I used for all of my prints. Again, I did uh, printables.com. Or you can take a look at the creality.cloud.com as well. And then when you take a look at the Creality Print software. So this is a software that you open up when you first get your 3D printer. Now, this is everything Creality. And the things that I love about this one is up here, you can take a look at some models. So if there's a few models that you want to print from here directly, you can just get it from their model library. Now, the other thing is that this is where the open files are. So anything that I have uh, saved as a file, I can go right here and get them all printed. And let's just say that we choose on this little head right here, we hit on open. It's gonna be sitting in you know, pretty much the display of my little uh, uh, hot plate right here. You can move it around, you can change also the scale if you wanna change the scale. You can rotate it around if you wanna take a look at everything. Here's where you can also take a look at where the bottom is or where the bottom is. Uh, here is your layout where you kind of want it to print. Here's your support. So for some of the prints I did, I added in a support. You don't have to, but you can either do an automatic support. You can add support only to the hotbed, or you can even add a custom support. And then here's a few other things that you can do down here for the others. You can clone it, drill, distance measure, split letter. So you have a bunch of things that you can actually do over on this side. Now on the right hand side, this is what I like as well, because you can actually choose which material you're using. So you can use hyper PLA, generic PLA, here is silk PRA, generic ABS, PETG, you also have a generic TPU, and then CR PLA. So whatever you are using, you can actually select it. So this way it knows what temperatures and speed to use. And then beyond that, you know, choosing your material, you can also choose, do you want it to be more high quality? or do you want it to be normal? And so it's gonna be going with either the quality as well as the speed. Now, once you have all of this done, on the very bottom right-hand side, you hit on slice. Now, once you have sliced this, it's gonna let you know how long it's gonna take. So this is a G code right here, and it will give me a printing time of four hours and 42 minutes. Now, this is a Lego head, but it's massive. Uh, so this is where you can actually see how long it's gonna take, how much materials it's gonna use, the material cost, material length, and then this is how long it's gonna take for you know pretty much every single thing, you know, the, the percentages of all of that. So the outer wall would take 43 minutes, inner wall is 37 minutes. It's a, it's a fun little breakdown. And then on the bottom, you just hit on LAN printing, and that's how I did everything. You can you can export it to local or you can put it on the Creality Cloud. So that's where you can do it from your again, your computer or your cell phone but I use LAN printing because I have this directly connected to my 3D printer. And then this way it moves the file over and I head over to the 3D printer. I select the file I want to print and it goes. Very easy to use. And there's really nothing beyond this that you really need to do with this print. Again, perfect for anybody who is a beginner. So that was everything that I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to make sure that I got this video up before this Black Friday deal ended. Usually most of all of my views on a video comes, you know, literally the moment it's uploaded. If you're watching this after the Black Friday deal, don't worry. I'm sure that more deals will come. There's always going to be something going on, especially around the holidays, beginning of the year, all that good stuff. Again, even if this thing was at full price, of the $600 right here, I would still go off and buy this thing just because of my experience that I've had with this. And there's so many things that you can do with 3D printing, you know, printing fun things, printing functional things. Um, but again, take a look over at this printer if this is something that you're interested in. Again, for this Black Friday deal, able to save $200, bringing it down to 400. And I will come out with more videos in the future when I get even more experienced when it comes down to the 3D printing because I wanna share more of everything I'm doing. And I can also show a little bit more in depth of everything as well. Everything was all recorded in you know fast hyperlapse speed, but I wanted to make sure that you guys got all the details that you really need to have when it comes down to this 3D printer, especially when it comes down to the time and the quality of the prints. So I hope that you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.